How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today we're doing a review for Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinobot Scenario. Uh, I filmed this intro and not realizing I had not turned the camera on. So, see that it's that work. Transformers Legacy Evolution, Transformers Evolution Dinobot Scenario artwork. Artwork. Both modes, legal bullshit there and there, and that's about it. So, let's go ahead and take a better look at Snarl, and welcome to Ionicus Star Reviews. So here we have Snarl out of the package, and he looks so much better than Sludge. Got the reds and the black, and that is his face sculpt, which looks really good. And the gold on the plates on his leg, gold legs, the, the dino legs right there. It looks like he shares a lot of work with Slug. Not a very big backpack, the gold on the tail right there. He looks really good. I can go 360, arms can rotate, do that ball joint, and bend at the elbow. There's a waist swivel, leg kicks up, kicks back, super kick, do that ball joint right there, and he can bend at the knee. So definitely, he's, him and Slug are definitely one of the two top favorites of the Dinobots. In this size. Uh, accessory wise. He comes with. The instructions. Oops. Drop them all over the place. Comes with his little sword. It should be red. But it's molded in this. Silver. Grayish type. Plastic. And this, which I would imagine just plugs it onto his back. And there you go. think for his transformation is close this out legs Definitely feel like I'm doing something wrong here.
I'm looking at this right, you should. There we go. So that plugs into there. Got this little peg and a slot. They kind of go in. Oops. Come on, I just did it. There we go. And all these guys got little stubby little tails. And there's Snarl. Look, you saw the gold plates and all the way up and down. The red, which I would imagine the sword is plugged in right there. I'd say that would look better a different way, but yeah. And it feels like his head is too low to the ground. But still, he's a cute little guy. to see his combined mode. Okay, so through this So I would imagine this is supposed to peg in to here.
so you fold the head, the head back in. You repeg it. And these slots go in here. But this piece here has to come up. piece in there and the sword goes right back in that slot comes one of the legs well I'm gonna flip this around get him back into his normal mode and I'll be back in just a second so legacy evolution snarl is pretty good I like him I mean, robot mode has got his little problems with the legs he kind of a little tubby but I think he's got this type of dinosaur had the tubby little weird legs so whatever but this is still a cool little guy a lot better than sludge up to the same par as slag but better arms but still great and snarl was one of the I don't want to say first. Yeah, I think he was like the first Dinobot I got when I started recollecting Transformers. The Gen 1 series, so. He just holds a little spot for me. Uh, I can't, now that I've done all six of these guys, I can't wait to put them all into Volcanicus. Uh, that, of course, will be a separate video in the probably next day or two. This is a uh, Wednesday night I'm filming this, so probably Friday night. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day, so I probably won't be dropping any videos tomorrow, but Friday we'll definitely see all these Dinobots put together into a full Volcanicus. But Oh, I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. He's a great little guy. Uh, has anybody made proper weapons for these guys? 3D printed them? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, he's definitely worth picking up. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.